the Brooklyn Nets have made deals with two of the guys that were on their team last season. It is not Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving, not just yet at least. The Nets give restricted free agent Nicholas Claxton a two-year $20 million deal. That could have some ramifications, and I'll talk about that more in a second. They're also giving free agent guard Patty Mills, who was in Brooklyn last year, a two-year $14.5 million deal. So he will be returning to Brooklyn as well. Uh, Nicholas Claxton and Patty Mills will have new teammates next year. Can you imagine being Nicholas Claxton? Just a year ago, he was in a perfect situation with James Harden, who loved him. Some Claxton, they played well off each other. It's like, ah, James doesn't want to be here. Dang, that hurts a lot, but... I'm still go out there and ball. I got Katie and Kai. Wait, 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 wait. Kai gonna leave? Oh, wait, Kai gonna stay. But now KD gonna leave? Now KD's leaving, so Kai leaving too? Can you imagine being Nicholas Claxton? Man, welcome to the NBA. This is a business at the end of the day. Things can change dramatically quickly, especially when you're dealing with guys like Durant and Irvin. Man, 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 man. The Nets make some moves. They also brought in Royce O'Neal, which I thought was a very interesting and random move in a trade with the Utah Jazz on yesterday. Nets lock up Nicholas Claxton and Patty Mills. We'll see what happens with, with Phoenix here. That DeAndre Aiden trade gets a little more interesting with the Brooklyn Nets signing Nicholas Claxton. Look, we don't know when the Kevin Durant trade is going to happen, if it happens at all this offseason. The Nets, I'm assuming, were like, hey, Nicholas Claxton is a guy that's wanted by other teams. We don't have time to wait. We're going to lock him up first and deal with the Kevin Durant stuff next when we get a chance to. Nicholas Claxton could very well be the hindrance in the Brooklyn Nets going again, DeAndre Aiden. If they think Claxton is 60, 65, 70% of DeAndre Aiden, then it's like, hey, yo, we don't want to give him $150 million, $180 million. We feel like we got 65% of them at $10 million a clip. Clearly, the Phoenix Suns pretty much think what Brooklyn thinks of DeAndre Aiden, right? The the Suns don't want Aiden at a max deal. They believe they could get another guy out there, presumably a guy like Nicholas Claxton, right? They could get him at a lower clip. So the Nets have already told Phoenix, we want Booker first, not Aiden, in any deal for Kevin Durant. Everybody's letting you know that they don't think DeAndre Aiden's a number one, number two guy in this league. That's what's happening right now. That is what's happening right now. I don't know if if, if the Nets, the Suns can work out a deal. If DeAndre Aiden's not going to be the centerpiece of it, I don't know if Brooklyn will want to do that. And I don't believe Nicholas Claxton can be traded until December now coming off of that. So he can't be a part of a deal. If I'm not mistaken, I'll make sure I get an update on that. I don't think he can be a part of a deal for DeAndre Aiden because he just signed. You can't tra- you can't trade those guys until December 15th, if I'm not mistaken. So interesting times in the Basketball Association. Nets lock up Patty Mills and Nicholas Claxton before they presumably trade Kevin Durant and or Kyrie Irving.